Hi, I'm Varun Singh. I'm a freshman at Harvey Mudd College. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I'm thinking of studying either engineering or computer science. I'm also involved in the orchestra here. So my typical day is I'll wake up around 6.40 a.m. and go for a short run. And then I'll take a shower and eat breakfast either in my room or at the dining hall. And then I'll go to class at 8 a.m. I have uh, 8 a.m. twice a week and 9 a.m. three times a week. And I'll have class until 11 a.m. After that, I usually do a little bit of studying before heading to lunch. And then in the afternoon, sometimes I have a lab or classes or I just uh, do some homework until uh, the evening time when I go for dinner. And after that, I either have orchestra or I go hang out with friends. So Harvey Mudd is in the consortium, right, of five colleges. Yes. Uh, what does that mean exactly? So it's five independent colleges, but they're all like working together to provide one student experience. experience. Mm -hmm. And so I can take classes at any of the other five colleges. So like what kind of classes would you take at the other colleges? So Harvey Mudd is the kind of like STEM school out of them. Mm -hmm. And so all the others offer like a really wide variety of humanity classes. So we'll take like humanities, social sciences, arts. I'm taking orchestra over at Scripps College, which is like right over there. And gotcha. so all of them are like within one square mile. So it's very small and everyone is uh, working together. We have friends across campuses. And so it's really a lot of uh, fun and it provides, every school can focus on their specific uh, needs and their specific kind of curriculum. And then through that, we get like a well-balanced. Right. So what makes Harvey Mudd distinct? You mentioned it's kind of the STEM school of the bunch. Yes. Can you tell me more about that? We only have STEM majors here. Mm -hmm. You have the option of taking an off-campus major if you want. At any of the colleges, you just uh, you can take any of the majors. But really here, we just have uh, our main programs are engineering, biology, chemistry, physics, and uh, computer science and math. And so those are our majors. Mm -hmm. And so all of our school resources are mostly dedicated towards those fields. So when you were applying to Harvey Mudd, was it very much like a STEM-focused application process? Um, no. So Harvey Mudd tries to, they, they really are big about including the humanities, social sciences, and arts in the, or we call them HSAs. So a third of our curriculum is in fact HSA courses. So that was one big factor of coming here because I'd taken a lot of like humanities courses in mm -hmm. high school and really liked it. There's just so much to learn. And so uh, a third of your courses are in that and a third of your courses are in ma your major. And then a third of your courses are going to be in what's known as core, which is just a uh, mandatory uh, track for all people. You take at least one course in every uh, field that we have here. So gotcha. one engineering, uh, one biology, several math and so on. Very cool, but like you're also required to explore the humanities as a part yes. of being a Harvey Mudd. Yes, and so you have to, we have like what's known as breadth and depth requirements. So breadth is you have to at least have five different um, areas that you uh, take courses in five different areas mm -hmm. of, uh, of the HSAs. And then depth is like uh, we declare a concentration. And so that's going to be four classes in one area. So my concentration is going to be music. So I'm taking orchestra and then I'm going to take a, a couple of music theory classes or music history and that will fulfill my concentration requirements. So Overall, what's the academic culture like at Harvey Mudd? So it's definitely very, very intense. So there have been late nights where I'm up working on problem sets or on an essay that's due the next day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of upperclassmen, there's a lot of academic pressure just to um, just to be able to pass a class with like a B is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And we're always taking several classes. So like a typical class load here is like four to five classes. And um, freshmen were taking like six classes a semester. And so there's a lot of homework constantly given. There's uh, a lot of time spent in class. Mm -hmm. And there's huge pressure just to be able to get through all the academic work that's assigned and learn the material. Mm -hmm. So what are the majors that you're considering right now? So I'm currently mostly considering either engineering or computer science. So Harvey Mudd has a broad engineering curriculum. 
So in which you're not taking like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or something, you're just taking, you're getting a degree in engineering. And within that, if you want, you can take more courses in electrical right. engineering, or you can take more courses in like transportation engineering or something. You don't have to choose. No, you don't have to choose, which is something that I like because I'm very bad at choosing. <laughs> So you're part of an orchestra here. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about it. Who's it made up of? What do you guys play? So I'm part of the Claremont Concert Orchestra. So it's not just Harvey Mudd. It's going to be Harvey Mudd, Scripps, uh, Claremont McKenna, mm -hmm. and uh, Pitzer. So we're, we all have this thing called Joint Music Program. And so we have our own orchestra with like winds and percussion and brass. Mm -hmm. And so it's we meet every Monday, Wednesday from uh, 7.30 to 9 for rehearsal. And in concert weeks, we'll have like extend rehearsals or like uh, end dress rehearsals to prepare. So we have like two concerts a, uh, a semester. And then I'm also part of this uh, American Gamelan Ensemble, which is basically an Indonesian ensemble, uh, Indonesian music ensemble mm -hmm. with uh, traditional instruments from Indonesia. And so that meets on Fridays for two hours. And so I do that in, in addition to my violin work. So you're, a lot of fun. so you're playing with different groups three times a week and then also yeah, on your yeah. own basically every day. Yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of fun. It's very, very relaxing. Like provides that kind of like work-life balance that you're always trying to achieve. So where are we now? So this is the Libre Complex. So it connects all the academic buildings underground. And so this is going to be where we have a couple lecture halls hidden here and mainly a bunch of labs and student maker spaces. So it's underground web, sometimes people get lost in it. I've definitely gotten lost in here, mm -hmm. trying to find my class. But uh, about once a month, what's really fun is we have these things called ITR games, which does not stand for ineligible to re-register because that's not allowed. Uh, yeah. But we basically around midnight or so, we come here for a few hours. We're just running around here, screaming, tagging each other, playing games. That's a lot of fun. Overall, what's been the most surprising thing about Harvey Mudd? Quality of people here, like the students are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And so the, like that's anyone who comes here was like the number one thing is going to be how, how close the students are mm -hmm. and just how helpful everyone is. So anytime anyone has a question, like people will help others before they work on their own problem, which is really nice. What advice would you have for maybe like a younger version of yourself or somebody who's thinking about applying to Harvey Mudd? Um, and yeah, what, what advice would you give to them? So I'd say you definitely have to be strong in the STEM subjects, like not, not all of them obviously, but like pick whatever your favorite one is. Mm -hmm. But also show a lot of like interest in the humanities, mm -hmm. the social sciences, the arts, like branch out, have that interest. Cause really Harvey Mudd is trying to, it's trying to educate like how to get those kind of like soft skills as well like people skills mm -hmm. in addition to technical skills and like how to understand the context of your work in society if you like this video and you want to learn more about top colleges like and subscribe down below backflip <laughs> Stand on it. No, sit in it. Can you sit in it? I don't know if you can sit in it. I know, it'd be funny. Slow-mo, slow-mo. Here, I got this.